my dear brothers and sisters god speaks to us in many different ways did you have in your life this god encounter experience of god you know the talking to you touching you that strong feeling god always speaks only when you are aware you realize this is the voice of god a couple of days back i was watching a youtube video on uh, the the title of the video was the power of the rosary i'm so happy to to see so many of you praying the rosary the power of the rosary and i was reading the comments that were there on that uh, youtube one lady comments so there she said her family a catholic family they were always praying the rosary when she was about 11 years old she met with an accident and for a moment she was literally dead on the road but since paramedical the team came in time they were able to in a way save her but she was in coma she was in the hospital she was in coma for 2 3 weeks the whole family gathered around her and they were all crying and sobbing and when this little girl came out of coma she saw her family all are crying and she said why are you crying i had a wonderful experience up in heaven jesus was with me mother mary was around me angels were with me it was such a beautiful experience and jesus gave me a choice either to remain in heaven or to come back to earth in my body i didn't want it to come back but jesus knew and i knew i had to come back and she says mother mary is such a beautiful lady she carried me like a baby and put me back in my body and here i am and so she put this comment on that video of course it's not an edited video comments are not edited no you write over there what you feel and what you experience so naturally there were other people who who were curious and wanted to know about this lady and they said how old are you now and what do you do and she said she is 47 years old and having about seven children and they are doing home schooling and she narrates her life now reading this comment there were so many other comments of miracles where mother mary is involved another old lady about 81 years old she commented i had a fall in my house for 4 hours i was lying on the ground and i got scared i am old my bones have become weak i was only praying that i don't have a broken bone so what i did was i called on mother mary and went on praying the rosary till the ambulance came and then when the ambulance took her to the hospital doctor declared no fractures no broken bones god encounter god encounter another lady wrote she was pregnant and she had this fear of delivery while going to the hospital she prayed to the sacred heart of jesus in the chapel dedicated to sacred heart of jesus and while in the hospital she prayed to mother mary the immaculate heart and the doctors said the baby was out of the sac and if uh, if you were not in time in the hospital the baby would have died god encounter experience mother mary encounter mother mary has always been present in our life silently quietly she doesn't she doesn't like to boast like some preachers on tv on youtube and you know they love to make videos and boast and publicize advertise about their healings mother mary does silently quietly nobody knows nobody knows these are god encounters in the first reading we have prophet ezekiel yesterday i told you about prophet elijah 
Ezekiel was a young man, about 20, 25 years old, and he wanted to be a priest in the temple in Jerusalem. He was preparing himself to be the temple priest. Unfortunately, the Babylonians came and took them into exile. And when they went to the exile in Babylon, they had so much of suffering, so much of suffering. And the people of Israel, even Ezekiel thought God abandoned them. They only believed that God experience or God encounter was found in the temple of Jerusalem. That was their belief. But in Babylon, Ezekiel encounters God. There is a kind of whirlwind, there's a fire, there is noise, there is so much of sound, and then he sees four strange beings. The point is, Ezekiel encounters God in a foreign land, in a pagan land, in Babylon. It shows God is boundless, God is beyond boundary, God is limitless, you can experience wherever you go, he doesn't abandon you, he doesn't abandon his people. Today, as we begin this retreat, these three days reflecting on the life of the mother of Jesus, let us take little time and little effort to understand her. It's unfortunate that we have not understood the mother of Jesus. We have not understood her life. We have not understood her spirituality. And therefore, whoever says anything about Mother Mary, we tend to believe. It's so unfortunate that so many Catholics who have left this devotion to Mother Mary, this love to Mother Mary, this uh, journey with Mother Mary, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Have you ever observed why Mother Mary is attacked again and again? And why the Catholic Church is attacked because we love Mother Mary so much? Have you ever observed? Because the truth is in the Catholic Church. Devil is not afraid of Jesus in a way, in what it comes. Devil knows the power of Jesus. Devil knows the position of Jesus. But he cannot understand the power of Mother Mary. And therefore, in a way, devil is frightened of Mother Mary. Do you know that? This Satan, this devil with such a big ego finds it difficult to bow down, to kneel down before that humble virgin. The humility of Mother Mary defeats the ego of Satan. Therefore, Satan is again and again attacking Mother Mary and the Catholic Church. Satan is not worried about other churches who are against Mother Mary, who are against the saints, who are against this love and devotion. He is not bothered about them. He knows Catholic Church is the true church of Christ and he knows Mother Mary is the mother of Christ and therefore he'll keep on attacking. He has only one aim. Satan has only one aim. And he has been working for the last 2,000 years for this. What is that aim? To see that Jesus is a failure. To see that Jesus is a failure. And therefore, by destroying the church, and our love for his mother, he wants to destroy Jesus and his work and his victory. Understand what Satan does. And do not cooperate and participate in his plan. During this Mass, let us pray for this grace. That God gives us the grace to understand this person of mother, the mother of Jesus. So that we too may imitate her behavior, her faith, her beliefs. And we too become faithful, committed disciples of Christ, just like the first disciple, Mother Mary. Amen.